hello everyone thanks for stopping by spirit and me 1111 it's your girl stardust 1111 here to do your forecast love and career reading for the signs of leo <laughs> let's take a look leo for april 2019 okay this will not resonate with all of you leo signs out there so you do have the option of getting in contact with me for a personal private reading if you would like all my information is down below in the description box as well as prices for my services and um, Leo is a fire sign, so this could resonate for the Sagittarius and Aries as well, as that is you guys' experience. Over there, um, genders can um, be switched here to meet your situation or circumstance here. So it is gender neutral reading, and tarot is timeless. So I like to always tell you guys this is events. These are events that have either happened in your life already in the past, that are currently happening right now in your life, or that are going to take place for you guys in the near future. Okay? Thank you all who've been subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos. You guys are really, really awesome. Thank you all so much. For anyone who is new out there, hi. You're always welcome here. Cross watchers are also always welcome here. The spirit of me. Spirit is the star of the show. I am just an empathic, intuitive, spirit-led tarot card reader. It picks up on energies and messages from the divine and the collective to be able to get them out there to souls in need of answers. Okay? All right. So, without any more talk, without further ado, I'd like to get going for my awesome signs of Leo. All right. Okay, guys, let's rock. Page of Swords. <laughs> Page of Swords, Leo. Someone's stalking you, or you could be stalking your person. Very curious. Curiosity kept the cat. Curious, George. <laughs> I'm just saying that someone somewhere is watching their person. You are really, really spying. This could be someone who is setting up fake social media accounts. Okay, be really careful. Be really careful, Leo, if you get that forever quest from that unknown person with 40, 50 friends. <laughs> you may have one mutual friend of yours. I don't know. Just felt like telling you guys that. So you definitely have that Page of Swords. The Curious George card, the Stalker card. Pay attention. Um, maybe some, pay attention to your bushes. If you feel weird or like you're being watched at home or like you're being followed, you probably are. And this person could make, maybe could mean you some harm. Um, I don't know. I don't know um it could just be your your crush or your person if you're in separation from could just be really wanting to see what you're up to checking you out seeing what you're doing so they know what move to make next the tower moment major arcana something's gonna come in and shake your world up turn shit upside down for you and it's an inevitable is an inevitable event there's nothing you can do to stop that there's nothing you can do to stop this tower moment from coming and taking place. Um, what this could also mean is that the paradigm, I like to call this card the paradigm shift. Okay, I like to believe that when this card shows up, you're going through a transformation, right? Um, a spiritual transformation. Something needs to be cut out of your life. Maybe you're not strong enough to do that yourself. Something or someone. So like the universe will come in and uh, shake your paradigm up. Like will literally break down your foundation of everything you've known. So that you can rebuild anew. And, and come into the things that you've been denying yourself of. Right? Okay. Maybe not intentionally. But unintentionally. Keeping things and people in your life. Um, and continuing to go in places and be involved with people. And places that don't serve you. Is bound to have a tower moment. If you're better than that, if you're larger than life, the shit that you've got going right now in your life doesn't serve you, then look forward to that tower moment. Don't just go through it, grow through it. Embrace that change. Embrace that. Allow for this to happen. Okay? Don't feel like, why me? You know, sometimes storms are sent our way not to destroy us. Some storms come to actually clear our path. I see this tower moment as something that's coming your way to clear your path of something that you're not strong enough to do for yourself right now. Three of Swords here. Someone hurt you, someone close enough in your immediate circle, family, friends, a very close friend, um, a very, it could be a lover, it could be a third party situation that someone's cheated on you, broke your heart, walked away from you. We'll find out as we get more into these cards here, but there's definitely three of swords here. So you are experiencing heartache and pain right now. Don't just go through it, grow through it. Life is full of pain. You can't get away from it. You can't get around it. Four of Wands. 
you've been working really, really, really hard on your relationship with your person and manifesting and bringing that into fruition. And you have that on your side. You have this four of, of wands energy on your side. So this could be that you or your person has reached that level of like contentment and peace with each other. I also like to call it the twin flame card, 1111, because of the four pillars that are there. So you have a person in your life that you are connected to <clears throat> that has hurt you. He's going to have a tower moment and he's probably stalking right now or she because they created this tower moment in your life with their shenanigans and bullshit, right? With that three of swords type of energy hurt you and uh, created that tower moment for you that now you're trying to get your way out of and see your way out of. And now this person's sitting back like just watching you to see what you're doing to see if you're involved with someone else. So he or she may want to sit back and watch your social media, want to see if you're going to post about a new relationship or someone that you're with, um, wanting to see if, you know, what you're up to, basically. Just wanting to be with you, just feeling real fucked up about what happened. So you have the King of Wands here. This is, it could be the player card. Um, this is known as the player card. I'm seeing this being someone that's your person and it could definitely be another fire sign like yourself, Aries, Leo, or Sag. It's a fire energy, right? So the King of Wands here is like, he's an attention grabber. This guy's an attention grabber, right? Like he, he the, the way he's looking, he's not worried about that throne he's sitting on. He's not worried about anything that he has, everything around him. He already is very aware of that, of what he has, what he's capable of having, what he can manifest and bring into the physical, right? He's already aware of that, but his mind is off. He's looking off into the distance. He's watching. He's wanting to see what's up with you. That's what that page is here for. Like, your person is wanting to see what's up, what's good. They know they did some fucked up shit. They know that that three of hearts moment has come along and you found out about it. And right now, you're going through it. You're going through it right now with that tower moment because of his bullshit. Because of what this person has done to you. Broke your heart and hurt you, right? A love that is definitely capable of manifesting into that happy home life that solid structured life that energy is there but your, your person's gonna have to get your shit together if you did this to your person or if he did this to you this is a love that you really really work hard on you really want to bring that and okay into the forefront of your life fourth cups right you're missing missing you you're missing your person. You feel like you have missed opportunities in your life because of this person. You may have missed a chance at a soulmate or a twin flame type of person or connection. Okay, you may have missed that. It's something about your person and your connection that you are not emotionally fulfilled, right? Discontentment is what this card is, that four of cups type of energy. You're just bored with what's going on right now and what you have in your life right now or bored with the situation. It probably is like a repetitive cycle when it comes to the King of Wands because although he's a king and he's very established and he's a looker, he's an attention grabber. So you got to know that he gets this from everywhere he goes. Like you're not the only person in this person's life, be it male or female. However, you need to switch the genders here. This person is just known for, you know, showing up and showing out got that you know that high drive that creativity like nothing's gonna stop him when that energy comes when he comes it's like he's mr show he's mr show he is the show you know and um uh, yeah he can have a lot lots of females um or she can have a lot of males wanting to be with them wanting to get next to them wanting to experience some of that king wants type of energy you know so yep he or she is missing you Missing that connection, missing that euphoric um, feeling of being complete with the one that you love, with the one that you feel is the one for you, the one you've been working really hard for to manifest, or you or your person. I'm going to get some clarifiers here for you, Leos. Spirit, if you please clarify the three of swords, the tower, as well as the four of cups here. I'm not going to ask for the page to be clarified, but, you know, spirit does his thing, so we'll see what happens, Leo. Hope everyone's doing well. Spring is here. It's coming. We got puddles everywhere. Not such a fan of spring. Not early spring anyways. Um, ready to get out on the water, you guys. Spirit and me will be at a beach and water location and park near you. <laughs> you can count on that. Okay, so Spirit, if you will, please give me some clarifiers here for my signs of Leo. 
Clarifying Tower, Three of Swords, as well as the Four of Cups. Okay. The Moon. <laughs> Pay attention to your dreams. You got a power, powerful epiphany coming your way. Things are not as they seem. Things are not as they seem. With the heart type of connection, um, this is also probably telling you that, you know, you get messages like your intuition. Pay attention to um, your person it could be just wearing a facade, you know, for the most part, showing up to you as this person, okay, that wants that happy ever after love life, that wants to be with you, that makes you feel like you've met the one, that makes you feel complete, right? But then he turns around and he does some shit by create that three of swords type of energy with his infidelity with his shenanigans being mr attention grabber and, and enjoying and basking in all of that attention that's hurting you that's hurting you to the core okay so the moon is like things are not as they seem you know you have a revelation coming your way something about your person and connection is going to come your way because things are not as they seem you may think that this person is having fun is enjoying their self and your time away from you but that four of cups is like no he's missing you she's missing you in that connection Missing you, wanting that back to the point that they have resorted resorted to stalking, stalking the shit out of you, you know? Be careful. If you do decide to date someone or go out with someone else, this fool may come pouncing out of the damn bushes or something on y'all. So be careful. I hope your new friend know how to fight because <laughs> your page might be going real hard because he's in love, you know? So you have the seven of cups here. You or your person has many options, but are confused about the connection. You got a lot of confusion going on. Missing him, having your tower moment, being in the midst of that. The moon's here is Pisces, so your person could be a water sign, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces could be your person, Leo. And then you have many options and choices here for, your, for you or your person. So you need to make up your mind. You're confused. You're very confused. The King of Wands has options. I'm going to tell you that. This guy does have options, and many of them. Weigh your options out, you know? Go do a little more research as to something that you feel that you want out of this person. Sit back and do your homework a little more on this person and this connection before you just jump out there head first. Knight of Pentacles, taking their time. Taking his time, slow and steady. You are your person because he's missing that, right? Connection, missing that, wanting that back. A lot, a hell of a lot. So take your time. Know that your Knight of Pentacles is coming with a message for you coming with that solid structured offer coming to say this is what i want i want this from you do you accept i love you and i'm here i'm sorry and i miss you what can we do to make it better okay and you know you have the page of swords clarifying the page of swords here you definitely got a stalker stalker alert honey watch your back because um you know maybe a little mentally or emotionally unstable having that time apart being a separation from you so this person is not trying to let you go not willing to walk away i'm not trying to let you go so, so, I'm going to get you guys a Angels, Romance Angels card. I'm going to put a couple Romance Angel cards here for you guys to finish your message up. I hope that this helps some of you Leos out there. I'm going to put that page on the page. Because <laughs> that's what's up. That's strong stalking energy. Someone's definitely stalking you, asking about you, showing up, probably at the job, asking friends and family about you, going to your family members' houses and friends. This guy really, really wants to come in and wants to get that message across your guy or your gal and um, wants to get something across to you. So that's what's up, guys. So to finish your message off, we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Your feelings are real. So when you like, you have the, the choice you want to make your mind up because you have choices and you're confused about your love connection to your person, Spirit has shown up and spoken and is telling you that you have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So that is your person. You know, if that's what you've been wondering. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. Divine timing is at work with you and your person. So while you're missing him, he's missing you. You're in the midst of that tower moment, breaking down the paradigm, shit that don't serve you. Going through it right now, okay? Being all shook up. Because of that three of swords energy and type of moment, just know that, you know, divine timing is at work in your life. Everything has a season and its reason. Okay, I hope that helps someone. Thank you all. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Namaste. Mm -hmm.